Have you ever eaten something that was really yummy but also really good for you? Well, I'd like to tell you guys about my favorite Middle Eastern side dish called hummus. Hummus has become really popular in America lately and you can find them at grocery stores such as Trader Joe's or at Costco, but it originates back to ancient Egypt and it's eaten almost in every Middle Eastern country, even in Greece. Today I'd like to tell you guys about what ingredients are involved in making hummus, how to make the hummus, varieties of ways to eat it, and the nutritional value to it. So the first thing that you would add in to make hummus is a can of chickpeas or garbanzo beans. And it does come with liquid, so we don't want it, so make sure to drain out the liquid before putting it into a food processor. The second ingredient that you would want to add is tahin. Um, tahin is ground up sesame seed oil, and it makes a nice, um, rich, creamy texture to the hummus. To that, you would want to add about two to three cloves of crushed garlic, some salt, and some lemon juice, and you would just blend it all together in your food processor, and it would end up with a really nice, uh, creamy side dish. Um, a secret that we do in our family is that we add about three tablespoons of non-fat plain yogurt, and it makes it even more rich and even more creamy, and um, it's just really good. So that's how you make hummus, and the ways that you can eat hummus are with uh, vegetables so for people who are vegetarians it's a great option as a dip and it's a lot healthier than choosing to dip your carrots or celery or um, cucumbers into a ranch or anything like that another option is that um, we do this in our family we toast pita bread in the toaster and it gets really crunchy and we just dip it into the hummus kind of like chips and salsa but Middle Eastern version <laughs> um, another way to eat it is with meat so people who love to do barbecues so when we do barbecues in the summer we do kebabs and chicken and beef we just dip that also with our meat and it's really good um, one creative way that I've heard hummus being used is for parents who decide to make their own food for their children like purees so um, hummus is a very creamy and smooth so and it's very healthy for the child also which brings me to the nutritional effects of um, hummus hummus has very high protein and high fiber chickpeas in and of itself one serving has over nine grams of protein so it's a great source for vegetarians who don't eat meat and they can get a good source of protein that way and it also keeps you full longer so it's a great option and it's healthy um, also with fiber it helps with digestion because of the chickpeas being a legume it's really good for your intestines um, so again just to wrap up um, hummus is quick and easy to make it's very versatile where to eat it and um, you can eat it with multiple things in multiple ways and maybe even by itself if you like it that much also it's very healthy for you which is great so you can enjoy it and know that what you're eating is healthy thank you very much